Hey YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So this video here is part 3 on this WB ute that we're doing a full repair and respray on. The first video covered a few of the repairs and we just got a bit of a start on the job. We got all the inside of the tub or well body painted and we got the chassis done as well. Second video was a bit of time lapse madness where we got all these panels here painted. I decided to leave the footage of uh, like having a walk around like this out and just include it at the start of this video. However, this video is mainly going to be focusing on the base coat stage on the body of the car. Obviously, a lot of prep work did go into all these panels, especially those inner guards there. They weren't in the best nick at all, but I took back all of the rusted sections uh, repaired and primed all of these panels as well. So the paint that I did use on this car is Metalux brand So clear over base and we used a bit of concept HS primer. That's just to save a couple of bucks So that's the main reason the main reason that we did decide to use Metalux is because when I uh, moved into this shop here um, We had a Metalux system and the owner wanted his own custom color He wanted to just choose his own color so we just had the um, color chips in the box. So we just said, man, have a look through the color chips. Choose one you like. And it just it was a Metalux color, color box, so it was just easier to get it mixed up in Metalux. That's the main reason. It also gave us an idea of whether or not we wanted to continue on with keeping that Metalux system, which it turned out that we didn't. Um, a few reasons, mainly that they weren't really looking after us with price. This is the, man, um, the distributor here in Perth. And I'm glad we didn't because, as it turns out, they've actually gone out of business anyway, I've heard since but um yeah if you do want to look up this color i've had a few people ask about this color the color chip that we used was eb03290 now i really don't know if you'll be able to get that um through metalux anymore because as i say i have heard they have gone under companies gone under but i also heard that axalta have bought them out so whether or not they're continuing on with the brand or not i really don't know you'll have to ask someone who does and i'm sure there will be someone watching who knows a little bit more than what i do about the metalux brand and their future as for the clear coat that i use later on which is going to be in the second video we use the metalux platinum clear and it's actually quite a nice clear it's nice and thick it's Classed as a MS clear, but um, I think I mentioned it in the previous video that the guys tell me that it's like two or three microns off being a HS clear, so it is really quite thick for an MS clear. Um, but yeah, it is a real pain in the ass to cut and polish. I tell you what, I spent the oh, best part of a whole day just polishing the body on this car. But um, yeah, results were quite rewarding and the car did come up quite nice. I also made a quick mention in the previous video that I used a ground coat and that's what this is here. So this is actually not the correct top coat color. It's um, You'll notice when I go to put my second coat of base coat on that it's very similar, but it's just a little bit bluer. It doesn't quite have that purple tinge the ready purple tinge to it sort of like a block of Cadbury dairy milk and the main reason for that was that the top coat didn't cover very well it's as simple as that like um, if I had not have used this ground coat well, then I definitely would have had to have been ordering another two liters of that top coat color in and in business you do everything you can to try and save a couple of dollars whether or not it's two hundred dollars on base coat you know um, margins on these jobs aren't massive and at the end of the day every dollar I save on these jobs it's actually money in my pocket when you're when you're the owner of the business obviously the quality of the job does come first and if I had have needed an extra two liters of paint well then I would have ordered it but if I can use my brain by using a bit of a ground coat and saving myself a bit of money well then I'd be stupid not to um, yeah this was basically uh, paint that was was just sitting up there on the shelf anyway not getting used it's not like it had passed its use by date or anything you know you've got a fair uh, decent lifespan on the base coats you know you'd get easily 10 years out of a can of base coat as long as it's had its lid sitting on there and it hasn't started drying up or anything I've seen people use base coat from you know 20 plus years as long as you're still able to stir it up and um you know it hasn't turned all lumpy so it won't even come through your paint strainer or anything like that then it should be pretty right to use um, I've actually since sold this gun as well. So this is a Devilbus GTI Pro. I've got the T2 air cap on it and a 1.3mm fluid dip on it. There's nothing wrong with it. I just um, got to the point where I'd bought so many guns for gun reviews and um, some of them I just decided I wanted to keep. And I'm like, you know what? 
I don't need these older guns. I was at the point where I sort of needed a couple of bucks because I'd spent a lot of money on this business and my bank account wasn't looking as pretty as what it was. So I thought, you know what, I'll sell a couple of those older guns. But um, in the future, I've actually recently teamed up with uh, Spray Guns Direct and they've uh, said that they're happy to start sending a few guns out for me. So what I'll be doing with um, some of my older guns, I'll just actually, um, I'm in the position where I don't really need to start stressing about, you know, two or three hundred dollars. I'll just start doing some more competitions and giving away those guns that I get off Spray Guns Direct. I'll just give them a quick review, um, you know, get the hang of the gun, tell you guys what I think of it. After I'm happy I've used the gun enough, well, I've only got, you know, use for maybe five or six guns. You know, you'll need your mini gun, maybe two or three color guns, a clear coat gun, your primer gun. Apart from that, I don't need to um, hoard or hold on to, you know, a hundred spray guns at one time. So I thought, may as well give a bit back to you guys. You know, you guys uh, do a lot for me from continuing to watch all my videos and motivate me with all the nice comments. So... Um, yeah, I'd like to give something back to you. And also, once I mentioned that to the guys from Spray Guns Direct, they would they jump straight on it. They're like, oh, awesome, man. You know, if you give that gun away, we'll double it type thing. So they, they're going to give me a gun to review. And then they said, if you're going to do a giveaway on that gun, we'll give a brand new gun away as well. And I'm like, well, man, that's <laughs> totally awesome. And it basically does sum up my thoughts on uh, that company, basically. Um, if I ever were, was to buy a gun in the future, I actually would be buying them off them, but it's looking like I probably won't have to. Um, one thing I think that you guys have always liked about me, I've been in this uh, for two years now, just hit the two-year mark, and um, I'm not, like, out here to sell you anything, basically. Like, there's a lot of YouTube channels, and even, like, you know, not, not just in this industry, and you think you're watching a tutorial or you think you're watching a how-to video, but it's actually disguised as an advertisement, you know, and I'm not doing that. At the end of the day, I even say to people, I say, look, I will recommend these people, but you can buy off whoever you want. I really don't care. You know, it, it doesn't make any difference to me whatsoever. I'm not monetarily gaining off it. I'm just giving you my honest opinion, which is what I've done the entire time, you know. Um, whether or not it be telling you, oh, jump on eBay, Jefferson's Ford, you know, they sell some really good quality, um, you know, decent price spray guns, or what, what's your opinion on masking tape? I'll say, oh, 3M's the best, you know, that's my honest opinion. Do you think I'm getting money off 3M to do that? No, I'm not. Look, at the end of the day, I'm getting a couple of spray guns, it's making it so that I'm not, you know, thousands of dollars out of pocket, gives me some content, which is what, obviously, every YouTuber wants, and you guys will be getting the chance to you know, win a spray gun as well. So everyone should be benefiting out of it. Um, yeah, I'll let you know one thing that I said to Spray Guns Direct at the very start, something that I would imagine most people in my position would just be like, oh, give me something, give me something for free. I said to him, I said, if you think you're gonna buy my opinion by giving me a spray gun, well, then you can think again and give someone else a gun because I don't want it. If I don't like that gun, if, I, yeah, if I'm not happy with uh, anything about it, I'm gonna be saying it. Um, because, yeah, the, the last thing I want to do is sell out for the sake of getting a couple of free products. If it was half a million dollars, well, that might be a different thing, but at the end of the day, it's just a couple of spray guns. Spray guns that I don't really even need. I've got enough spray guns, you know? And don't forget, they're impartial anyway, because they stock a very wide variety of spray guns as it is, so it's not like they want to sell any specific gun more than others, really. Like, if they sell um, a GTI Pro Light next to a Sarda Jet, they're, they're not really fussed, you know, like, because they, they sell that and they sell the iWatters as well. As much as anything, it's helping them know what to order, helping them, um, yeah, get a bit of feedback on the guns that they do have as well. So, you know, everyone really should be uh, benefiting from this relationship. Anyway, we'll continue on with the job. I've blabbed on about Spray Guns Direct and our deal enough probably for this video um but yeah you can really notice this second coat how it's really starting to turn that real cabri purple type um it's got that real red tinge to it but um yeah without that ground coat i'd really be struggling to get any coverage it's funny this color when i first saw it i saw it in the can and i saw it on the um the color chip i really didn't like it but it wasn't until I actually laid some down on those panels um, that I actually started to realize, you know what, this is actually a really cool color and I think it suits the car. It's definitely a lot different. But um, yeah, another thing I thought I'd touch on quickly is a lot of people seem to have this question. They say, when doing a full respray like this, um, how do you make the color match 
while you've got the panels off the car. And this, I have said it before in other videos, but the simple answer is if you paint the panel off the car exactly the same way as you paint the car, there's no reason it should look any different at all. Um, you use exactly the same ground coat, you put the same amount of coats on, you put it on the same thickness, you use the same gun. Um, I also don't like to leave it too long, so basically, um, you may remember at the start of this video, the start of this video set, I should say, that I was working on the panels and my business partner was working on the body. So that's the reason I painted the panels first. It wouldn't matter which way you do it, but I wouldn't want to paint the panels and then leave it for a week before painting the body. So I really want to get straight on to um, the next day when possible if possible do it the same day you know if you've got an oven that you'll be able to bake the car out in personally this oven here is not a baking oven but um yeah if you can bake it out and paint the rest of the panels the same day exactly it's all fresh in the mind you know all the application and um yeah you shouldn't get any uh color differences there is obviously some circumstances that i would want the panels bolted back up on depending on the color if it was a candy if it was a three stage i may want to i even decided to bolt the panels back on when i was doing that matte black tirana that i did in clear over base anyway that's about it for this video hope you guys have enjoyed watching if you have, give it a big thumbs up. Check these links out at the end. Now you've seen this video, get out there and paint some shit. Thanks for watching, and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.